You know, back in the, uh, in the late 90s, uh, Beanie Babies were just like the craze. You know, here's, this is Gobbles, the, the Beanie Baby. And um, sometimes, in fact, these are great examples of, of mathematical principles. In fact, with Gobbles here, uh, let me tell you something about Gobbles. In fact, you can see it over there. Um, the price of Gobbles, in fact, the Beanie Baby Gobbles, actually fell 20% this year. And now, Gobbles the Beanie Baby is currently selling, it currently costs $750. These things are collector's items, folks. $750 now. That's after it fell 20%. And the question is, how much did it cost last year? Okay, well, how can we figure this out? Well, let's think about it together and see if we can reason together. Um, we don't know how much the Beanie Baby cost a year ago. That's what we're trying to find out. But we do know how much it costs now. Okay, so let's let that unknown price be P. So P equals the price of gobbles uh, last year. Okay, now what do I know about the price of gobbles this year? Well, I actually know two pieces of information if you look over there. The first one is the price is $750. But the second thing I know about the price is that it is 20% less than the price it was previously. Now, what does that mean? It means that the price fell 20%. So I'm going to subtract something from this price. And how much do I subtract from that price? I subtract 20% of this price. So what I do is I take the price P and I subtract off 20%. And 20% is just 0.2 times P. So I take the price and deduct it. I have it fall 20% of the price. So for example, let me just give you a very simple example. Suppose the Beanie Baby um, cost $10 and the, the price fell 50%. Well, I find 50% of, of, of um, $10, which is $5. And so then the price would go from 10 to 10 minus 5, which would be 5, which is right. It fell 50%. If it falls 20%, then in fact I have P minus 0.2P. And that equals, well, we know what it equals. It equals 750. So now I have the equation. And now it's really easy to solve this because 1P minus 0.2P is 0.8P. And that equals 750. And so if I divide both sides by 0.8, what I see is that P equals 750 divided by 0.8. And if you divide that out, you'll see $937.50. Does that answer at least sound reasonably reasonable? The, the price last year should be higher than this year's price, because remember, this year's price, we had a fall in price. So the $750 is this year's price, so last year's price should be higher. And that's at least the number we're getting, $937.50. And in fact, you can check this by taking 20% of this number, and then taking $937.50, subtracting the 20%, you should get that. So that's the answer to this question. When you have a price drop or a price increase by a certain amount, you either add or subtract the right percentage, and that's it.